Casio Protrek PRW2500. It's not 3500 or 3000 or 6000. I actually think this is the better looking watch the 2500 the 6000 is a real nice looking watch but as far as an all digital watch goes this is the nicest looking watch sorry flopping it around here nicest looking watch of the uh, Casio Protrek models and it's got the most informative it's got a more display -y -er display than does the 6000. And the 3000, oh, I don't like that digital display at all. Anyway, this is 2500. I didn't know about the other watches when I bought this watch because this watch is uh, for sale at the source. Probably could have got a different watch for the same price. Anyway, this is my review. Let's start with, oops, your basic home screen. Now, this little black triangle right here says that this time, this is your time, and this little black triangle says that this and this and this are all less than 100% irrefutable for a full 24 hour period. This says that this is irrefutable for 24 hours. <laughs> this is the year, this is the month, the number of the month, uh, this is the day of the month, this is the day of the week. These up here are your various alarms and indicators, what your watch is going to do, what it's not going to do. This is your barometer graph. And you get, you get one, two, three, four, five bars on this thing. But each bar is a two hour bar. So it updated I think 17 minutes ago. The barometer is going up quite fast according to this bar. And this just shows us that it's on daylight savings time and P is PM. Now here you have power save. That means the power save is on. Which is, I don't see why you would take it off. Huh? Not like it's a smartwatch or anything. This is your battery. Low, medium and high. This has a really, really awesome battery. Awesome battery. It's never been so high. And by battery, I mean like solar battery. Not solar, like this. This, between the bezel and the main part of the face, this little black ring is a solar panel. And the solar panel and the battery are fucking awesome. Because when I first got the watch, it was quite often on medium, quite often on high, but now that I've had the watch for about six months, it's lodged itself on fucking high power, high battery, you know, that, that is fucking awesome. It never goes below high, and that's pretty good. And quite an informative display, I like it. Oh yeah, this up here, uh, this is the moon. Uh, this black and white circle is the moon. The black part is the part of the moon that you can't see. And this part here is the part of the moon that you can see. So when this is all clear, it's full moon. When it's all black, it's new moon. Now let's get into the ABCs of the watch. The altimeter. It says Alt 1, which is altimeter. And for once this this altimeter is accurate, which I've got to admit, see, it, it goes up and down, it's not that accurate, but you'll notice that this, this now says plus five, whereas it said plus minus zero before, which it does now, 
because back when it said 15, which it does now again, excuse me, I gotta take a little break here. So anyway, I was, I was saying before about this watch, this is the ProTrek PRW 2500, and... The altitude, the elevation right here, this is 810 meters, which is the uh, accurate elevation of this trailer. However, it keeps going up to 815. Oh yeah, that's what I was saying. Let me focus. Oh, there we go. You see how it says plus 5 when it said that? Let's just wait so you can see it. It'll say 815, it'll say plus 5. Right now it says plus, there we go. That means we've gone up five meters. Now watch. Come on. What the hell? I said it at eight. I did it when it said eight fifteen. Okay, let's let's whatever, whatever. Let's pretend that we're going up. And on Casio, up is up is down, and down is up. <laughs> That's fucked. So let's go up, let's say we're climbing a mountain, or like tiny little fucking hill, barely even break a fucking sweat, because I'm not sitting here pumping this thing all day, these buttons are too hard to press. Now, see, we just went up 130 meters, didn't even break a sweat. Now let's set it. Back down, now see the button on the up, instead of on the down, the button on the up end of the buttons makes it go down, right? Whereas the button on the down end of the buttons makes it go up, but uh, <laughs> anyway. We live at about 810 meters if you live in the in the fucking Barson area between 800 and 800 and I don't know 50 or something. If you live along the highway or like on Inler Road or somewhere like that. Uh, so yeah, the barometer. Now let's go back into the altimeter. The altimeter, I really do not like it because it is really inaccurate. It is so inaccurate that I don't even trust it. Barometer, on the other hand, is really accurate. I keep double checking it upon what the barometric pressure is according to the weather stations across Canada. The government fucking weather system that's the official barometric pressure or whatever. Um... And it's accurate. 1013 HPA and Pelicascals are the same thing as HPA. Or no, not HPA and millibars, I think. Anyway, there's there's two systems of measurement on this watch. And I always pick metric because, you know, I'm not at, like... Some yank that can't go 110, 100, 1,000. Boom, I just reiterated the entire metric system. 110, 100, 1,000. I'm not some stupid American that can't even understand that. So I picked metric. Duh. <laughs> I have a choice. We use both up here. No big deal. I choose metric. Anyway, this is a barometer. This is the thermometer, which is pretty accurate. Now you can adjust the set hold, and then I think with Casio's after you do that, you hit mode. Oh, it's already on temperature. Anyway, I could adjust the temperature manually, I could adjust the barometric pressure manually, and that's it. Oh, I didn't screw nothing up. <laughs> Alright, that's the barometer, it's pretty simple. Here's the compass. Now. I stick to the trails, so I don't really rely on my compass that often. But I have found in testing anyway, for it to be fairly accurate. 
Here it says how many degrees, not how many mils, but how many degrees. I just said I go metric and then I say degrees instead of mils, whatever. <laughs> then uh, up here is where the exact direction you're pointing. Let's get the magnet away from it. Northwest, but we can go west, northwest. And this compass has a rotating bezel with the cardinal directions on it. So if you're taking a walk and you want to go north, you know the trail, you know the trail is going to meander like this. Well, you want to go you want to jump over here to this little cliff to take a look, but you know the trail is going to meander like this, right? So you go, "Okay, I can just go in this direction." Well, let's say you want to go in that direction. You take a fucking reading. Oh, well, that's that's too simple. Okay, let's say we wanted to go in this direction. Okay, you put north there. You line north with north. That's actually not reading correctly right now. Unless it is, I don't know. And then you're walking along, you're walking along, you're walking along, you're walking along. Right? Oh, let's straighten out. Right? And, uh, obviously this is not accurate. There's different metals in the trailer, different metals in the table. See? So, anyway, that's how you can use this bezel. I didn't do the greatest job at explaining it, but I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's the ABC. And it's all direct, one button access to all three of them. And in any of them, time. 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 You always get your time. Holy fuck. Alright. That was the first part of the watch. First part of the review. Now we're going to go back to the home screen. And uh, we'll talk about that. fingers <laughs> yeah all right this is part two of the video all right now I've already explained the home screen to you that should have been the start of part two but <clears throat> this is your tide screen Okay, this means that the moon is here, at, like I said, was the moon, but it tells you that at 6 o'clock this morning it was 19.7 days old. It's probably like 19.8 or 19.9 or 20 days old or something by now. Uh, this is your tide. Right now this is where the tide is. So as you can see, it was high. Now it's kind of... Wanning tide, or waxing tide, I guess, because it goes from here in this direction, I believe. And I'm not sure what this six o'clock stands for. Another mode is record, and uh, I don't really use this because, like I say, the now if you ever want to get back to the home screen in a hurry you just hit mode hold it hold mode and uh, it'll take you right back the altimeter is really shitty it's not that accurate I don't like it I don't use the altimeter I don't trust it but the barometer and the compass are good anyway you can record your maximum altitudes your minimum altitudes your ascent descent and manual recordings of altitudes as well your alarm. No. This is your hourly signal. You have uh, 
I'm going backwards here because up is down and down is up. Alarm one, 6.30 a.m. Turn that off, don't need that no more. Alarm two, alarm three, don't need that right now. Alarm four, that's just a cool time of day. And alarm five is off. Hourly time signal again. So that's your alarm clock, your stopwatch. Now I'm not gonna get into the stopwatch because I just made a video and tried to get into the stopwatch and got it all fucked up and confused because I really don't use the stopwatch. I really don't. I don't care how fast I go, just as long as I get there, you know? You don't have to go fast, you just have to go, you know? Timer, there we go. This this is your timer. Now I use this every once in a while. It's like for non-outdoor things too. It's like okay, I want to heat up the oil on the fire pit for say X amount of minutes. I don't know how many minutes it takes to heat up oil. Now nope. There we go. Now in one minute, you'll hear what the beeping sound is like. And the world time. The world time. Now in, in this mode, just like most of the other modes, you get your own time right here. This is the time at YVR Vancouver Airport, eh? And uh, it goes fucking LAX, which is Vancouver time. Edmonton, which is YEA, it goes Denver, Colorado, which is 435, Mexico City, I think, 535 in Mexico City, I have no idea. You can also go the opposite direction, it's really nice that way. Oh. Yes, the, 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 I was trying to get us there, but couldn't get us there quick enough. Anyway, the, uh, the, uh, fucking. Timer went off. Then it goes back to one minute. And, uh, I believe there is a way that you can set it. And probably setting it to set it. You hit mode. Oops, no. Mode. Mode, I said. <sighs> Mode! Okay, apparently you can't fucking set it to repeat itself every time the timer goes off. I thought you could. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, that's the timer. World time. And this, R slash C, at 1.04 a.m. This morning, this black triangle came on, and uh, that means that that this time here is irrefutable. It is absolutely one hundred percent correct, and and cannot be negotiated. This is the time. Even if the internet says something different, even if your cell phone says something different, even if the TV says something different, even if the clock in your truck says something different, even if the time says something different, even if the weather channel says something different, it does not matter. This black triangle up here means that this right here is irrefutable. Okay? Anyway, uh, let's see what else do we have. Receiving indicator, I went over that. Multiband six. That means that at, that at fucking midnight, every night at midnight, and all morning, it tries six times to get this little black triangle. And it, us and it always does. Always. Even if I have my arm under my pillow, you know, and the window's closed and everything, and curtains are down, I don't know what it is. This is this, this. I live a long way from Fort Collins, Colorado, where the where the clock actually is, where they send out the signal. It's a radio signal, actually, FM, I believe, or something similar to FM. And uh, it's like too 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 high of a frequency on the FM end of frequencies to 
register on a on a radio, but uh, multiband six WR twenty bar. That means it's water resistant to two hundred meters. This is your battery. I already went over that. Pro Trek by Casio. Oh yeah, tough solar and triple sensor. This black ring all the way around here between the bezel and the watch face. This black ring that all this bullshit is printed on is the fucking solar panel. And let me tell you about the battery. The battery is fucking wicked in this thing. The solar panel charges it right up and keeps it charged and the battery never dies. I'm inside all the time. It's dark in here. You know, there's this, there's that, and it's cloudy out right now in the sun. There's no sun coming in through the windows because it's cloudy. Don't matter. Did this thing will charge with a fucking light bulb, I swear to God. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Triple sensor, that's this right here. That's your sensor for this, this, and this. It's version 3 triple sensor, which means it's the third version. And apparently this big, huge, gigantic thing that sticks out like a quarter inch from the side of your watch is uh, the smallest uh, sensor that they have, which uh, sounds pretty cool, I guess, until you see it. It's like, oh, that just looks like a regular old sensor. But apparently it's small. Uh... So anyway, this is the Casio ProTrek PRW2500, a $400 watch. Uh, might be less than that now. but And it's got titanium band, which makes it super lightweight. And you can drop it a little bit, and it's not going to matter. I've dropped this thing many times, and, and it still works as perfectly as the day that I got it. Even the altimeter, you know how I said the altimeter was inaccurate on this thing? Well, it was since the day that I bought it, it doesn't matter. When I got it here, the altimeter said I was on the top of Mount fucking Everest. It's like, fuck you, <laughs> you know? <laughs> fucking hate that shit. Anyway, this is the ProTrack PRW2500.